So this is going to be a faderless scratch and these are called tears and there's tears and clover tears um, There's a few different types But the best way to learn these scratches is once again <laughs> the platter not spinning um, specifically because you're going to uh, train your record hand how to move the record and you'll actually get stronger in that record hand like I was saying in previous videos um, the stronger you get your record hand the better and the more control you have um, it'll just change up the whole sound of, a, uh, of the scratch so anyway uh, the original tear sounds like so so it's one forward and two back one forward two back one forward Two back. There's a cat outside my house and he's meowing. <laughs> so that's the tear forward and back. One forward, two back. Then there's the clover tear. So a clover has four leaves. So it's two forward and two back. That cat is super loud. Anyway, so it's two forward, two back, two forward, two back, two forward, two back. So let's go. So that's how that one sounds. Okay. So that's your clover tear, tear and clover tear. So let's try doing it with a bead. Incorporating the cost fader, it'll switch stuff up, so let's... So those are your tears. So hopefully that uh, video kind of helps you out with that once again. Do it with the platter off, because once you uh, once you do that, you're going to strengthen up your hand, like I said, and that's the secret to good record control, uh, record hand control. <laughs> Alright, so hopefully that helps out. Peace.